On the Mount Rushmore of poetry, you've got Shakespeare, Dante, and Du Fu. Du Fu is known as China's greatest poet, and through his writing, he was able to capture one of the most important times in Chinese history. Today, we're at Du Fu's largest and best preserved home, and China's greatest site for literary pilgrimage. That is the Du Fu Thatched Cottage here in Chengdu. So without further ado, let's learn more about the man, myth, and legend that is Du Fu, and the place that inspired some of his greatest works. To understand why Du Fu is such an important figure here, you have to understand a few things. One is that Du Fu was not just a poet, but also a historian. His poems provide a fascinating personal account of one of the most important times in Chinese history. The time Du Fu was born was the peak of the Tang Dynasty and the apex of Chinese history and culture. Throughout his life, he was able to witness and record the catastrophic downfall of this empire firsthand. But besides capturing history, Du Fu represents an ideal model for Chinese society. Through experiencing suffering in his life and witnessing corruption all around him, Du Fu always stood by his Confucian values. The perfect example of this can be found in a poem he wrote one stormy night in this cottage. The winds were so powerful that they broke his roof and rain poured into his home. With his children crying in their bed, Du Fu wrote some of his most famous lines. If I could get a mansion with a thousand, ten thousand rooms, a great shelter for all the world's scholars, together enjoy, solid as a mountain, the elements could not move it. Oh, if I could see this house before me, I'd happily freeze to death in my broken hut. Through all his hard times, what kept Du Fu going was the hope that his poems would one day make the world a better place. When Du Fu arrived in Chengdu in 759, a friend gave him a plot of land here, and he decided to build a thatched cottage on it. Today, it's not just the site of an old home, but a ginormous park full of waterfalls, ponds, and pagodas. It's easy to see how Du Fu wrote many of his most famous poems here. The gorgeous greenery surrounding this place must have been the perfect environment to inspire those creative juices. In total, Du Fu wrote 240 poems while living here. For full breakdowns of Chengdu's other beautiful attractions, make sure to check out my Chengdu playlist. I'll see y'all for the next great China adventure.